All right, so I've got a bunch of styles um, up in the library for OS3. I'm calling them showcase styles. Um, so what they're going to be is I've taken um, all the different uh, new features uh, that I've been playing with for OS3 and put them together in a few different styles with a bunch of different colors um, just to kind of show off um, what's possible. Um, and then also hopefully these could be roadmaps for people who want to start learning these styles. Um, there is a ton of new features in OS3. Um, and if you haven't been following the beta, it's probably a lot. Um, but basically, I wanted to kind of take everything, put it together, and that way people can kind of start digesting the styles. You can also load them up and play with them. You can use them. Um, I've spent time putting these together. They're not perfect, um, but they're pretty good start points. Um, you know, I, I like to fine-tune stuff, but I've been trying to get these done. Um, so, you know, no offense if you want to change something. If there's something you like, uh, other parts you don't like, the whole idea of these really is to get everybody introduced to them and then hopefully get people thinking about, hey, I like that, I want to do this, or I don't really like that, I want to do something different. Um, so this here is my unstable style. Um, this is a single color. It's right now it's running in yellow. Um, and this features the responsive blade, which uses swing speed. Um, and this has a white mix. So there's a couple different responsive blade styles I've built uh, in the library. You'll see a few of them. Um, there's some called fast color and there's some called fast white. So fast white, you'll see as I move this blade, it'll start to get a white uh, view. And the faster you move the blade, the whiter it gets to the point where it almost becomes completely white with that unstable effect. Um, so that uses swing speed. Now, um, in addition, there's other variations that use a color. Uh, so there's a contrasting color to the main blade color, which mixes in. Um, so you can go either way. You can also change effects, um, which I can show. Um, and then this has all the transitions. So it had the power up, it'll have the cool down. Um, this also has a transition for begin lockup, it has a transition for end lockup, uh, transition for begin drag and end drag, and then there's an animation transition for uh, stab. So for lockup, you'll see um, the whole blade will flash white, and then you'll get localized lockup, and then you'll get a reestablish. So there's the localized, and then the blade reestablishes. And then for drag, you'll see a flash of a tip. Oops. And then there's a fade out effect. And then for stab, there's going to be an animation. So there'll be a wipe in and then a fade out. So that's built in. And you can adjust all those. And that's the big thing with transitions that I kind of wanted to put these together for is you could take a blade style that exists and just change a few of the transitions to any of the other possible. I think there's like 10 of them or more. Um, and all of a sudden you get a completely different blade. Um, so there's, there's a lot you can play around with, a lot to tweak. So these are just meant to be kind of starting points. And then for all the ones in the library that are single color, um, if you, they do use the default color wheel, which is part of OS3. Um, so you can enter that mode. And then you can rotate your, you rotate your hilt and you can still change the color on it. So I do have versions that have the color change built in with nine colors in the transition. Um, and then I also have the ones that are single color that will just rely on the color wheel. So you can kind of get to the perfect color that you like. Lock it in. And then again, this uses the fast white. So depending on the speed you swing it, you're going to get white introduced. Now, this is another um, showcase style, so there's a bunch of them in there. So, this one is an audio flicker. This one actually uses the color change with transition, so it'll be nine colors and it has a transition. Uh, you can change the transitions. This one's using the white, um, so that's one of the ones I like, but you can change those out and then again changing the transitions anywhere in the style, you actually get different effects. Um, so again, this also has all the same uh, transitions with power up, cool down, the lock up transitions, the drag transitions, and the stab transitions. Um, but this one also now has the, the predetermined colors. Um, now what I did on these ones um, is actually used a contrast color. So the previous blade had a white with the swing for the responsive blade. This one has a contrasting color. So that color, it's kind of an orange, it'll mix in more with the red, 
based on the speed of the swing. So if I swing really fast, you'll see the blade gets much more orange. And then if I do it slowly, it's a little bit. Um, and then you can change the colors. Again, I've predetermined all the contrast in this color change. So there's the white. Um, so that's an orange blade now. And then it, uh, it gets more red based on the speed of the swing. And then this also, these also all have the same, the lock up, the, uh, the drag, the stab. So that's a yellow. And then based on the speed, this one will get an orange tint. Or, yeah. Green will get a yellow tint based on the speed. Oops, I was pointing down. have contrast colors. So there's some with the fast color, which is a contrast color that I put in, and there's also with the fast white in the library. So it depends on what you're looking for. Um, but you can play around with those. Magenta. And then again, these have the uh, lockup transition. So the polish, localized lockup, reestablishment of the blade. It's got the drag. It has a flash, drag, and then a fade out. And then we've got the stab, which will have that wipe in, and then the fade out. So those are all built in there. So I took all the stuff and put it into these styles, and there's a bunch of different ones for you to play around with. And then, let's see. So now I've also got fireblade styles. So with the fireblade styles, I actually did a little bit of a change. Um, in addition to having that white mix, I actually increased the speed of the flame also. So that flame will get more white, but it will also pick up speed based on the speed of your swing. So if you swing really fast, it's a really fast flame, and it's a white flame. Um, and then this one, there's a bunch of different ones. This one has the, the built-in color change. Uh, so this will have a white transition. white fast flame as you're there um, and again it has all the other transitions so there's a bunch of them in the library now um, as I said these are meant to showcase what's possible um, so you know load them up have fun with them play around uh, you can also take them apart change some of the like I said changing transitions gives you completely new effects um, so play with the transitions um, you know see what you like see what you don't like um, and you know just just have fun with it so uh, I know OS3 is almost out of beta so if you want to wait till beta is over, I think that'll be soon. But if you want to jump into the beta, you know, go over, check it out, download it, and play with it. Um, there's just a lot, a lot of features. There's probably too many features to cover. Um, so the best thing, how I've been learning, is just playing around with them and seeing what's possible. And these are just all these styles in the library are meant to just be roadmaps for everybody to kind of pick stuff up, see what they like, and, and you know, come up with perfect styles for yourself.